Well, I don't know what the bitch is doing. She still ain't got here, boys. But uh, I'm on a promise. Uh, she's gonna let me have my car back. So we can go out to play, boys. You're coming out to play, boys. Coming out to play. So, Mr. Blackborough, Mr. Sherlock Jones, and maybe Live Free, after uh, Marty has spoken to him. So, uh, here we go, boys, and uh, we'll see what happens when uh, my stepdaughter turns up. So, I've just had to put the mask on because I'm going to put this bit at front of the video and I'm going to film her when she comes in here and dives in my fridge. So, I'll get back to you again in a moment, boys. As soon as she lands, uh, I'm, uh, I think I should wear this mask tomorrow. I think it's appropriate because that uh, Mr. Smith who was well he wasn't very happy when I asked him if he was a traveller and I asked him that because I know a lot of Smiths as I've said on more than one occasion I know the Smiths off Darfield Road and I've got relations called Smiths on Darfield Road as well. There's the Traveller Smiths. They're right at the bottom of Darfield Road. And there's my relations who live in the estate opposite Dorothy Ironman's, Graham Smith, John Smith. There's actually 13 in family. Uh, and most of them are still uh, all uh, about. One of them run Grindthorpe Colite Plant. That was Jeffrey. Jeff Smith. Jeff Smith. Uh, John. Graham. Uh, I can't remember them all. I can't remember them all. And their mother was May, who was my mother's sister. And her husband, my uncle Jeff. So there were Big Jeff and Jeff. Big Jeff was my uncle Jeff. And other Jeff, who was still big, he was six foot odd. Well, he is six foot odd. Uh, and he run Grindthorpe coal like plant. I used to go swimming every week in the open air swimming pool down at the back of the shops. Just bottom end of, uh, well, mid, mid Cuddeth. In middle of Cuddeth, isn't it, really? At back where it park is, it would open air. They had diving boards. Uh, what they call them? Lidos. Something like that, innit? Well, uh, as I've said, I'm just waiting at stepdaughter turning up now with my car, bless her. Just after I'd slagged the dive to Marty, saying she was hiding. She want she she said they don't want my car back. She didn't seem right happy though, and she ain't got back here yet. She won't let me down now, so I'll get back to you in a bit. So cheers, boys. Now do you know what? I've just been slagging you down, cock. Why? Well, the, you can take your mask off. You look a plonker with a mask on. Right, I was just slagging you down to my mate, Marty Blackborough. 
And I said, watch you start trying to move them fucking photos about again. But she can't now, the bitch. And I was just saying, yeah, Marty, I'm sorry, mate, we can't get out. You can't come to Wakefield with me and defend me against that fucking big security man that tried to attack me. But she's just rang me. Marty, honest to God, like I told you, she rang me up and said, did I want my car back for a day or two? And uh, she's here, look, I told you she won't let me down. Will you just say big up Marty Blackborough for me, cock? No. Go on. Big up who? Marty Blackborough. Big up Marty Blackborough. Big up Live Free. Big up Live Free. And big up Sherlock Jones. Right, thank you, cock. I won't embarrass you anymore. But do you know what else I told him? Wow. But I can tell she's looking at it, look. And she hasn't got a bag. So she ain't got a pork pie. Look, she's laughing because she knows what I'm grassing. <laughs> See, look at the fridge. Look, she can't keep her eyes off it. She knows there's cream buns and all sorts in there. And she's going to eat one on the way. So I'll get back to you tomorrow, boys. I'll see you at half past ten. She's turned up, the car will be black fucking bright. No, it's not. She's giving it me back so I can clean it up, ready for the, for Monday. Well, maybe Sunday afternoon or something. Right. I'll get back to you tomorrow, boys. Thanks a lot. And this is my stepdaughter, Lee's sister, and she's a Crowther. Show me them Crowthers. <laughs> <laughs> They're only a generation or two out of the caravans, boys. What's it? Uh, look, Chris, look, Lee, Chris, look straight into the fucking bag. Get off Chris's back, Chris. That's that's Lift Free's bag. Is it? Yeah, I took it out of book because she'd have had it, mate. She'd have been fucking shopping with that tomorrow. Right, so I'm going to turn this off, mate, and I'll get back to you. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, people, I don't know what happened here. I've restarted my video again, and we're still here at Barnsley Town Hall. I tried to wipe the lens, and it uh, I reckon that'll look pretty amazing a bit later on when it's dark. And as you can see, up that way. Barnsley Library in College. And this way, back down towards the town centre. And we get this monument, of course. I haven't seen this one before. A lot of this is all newly renovated. It's the first time I've seen it. All this side here is all new. But when you look, that is pretty amazing, isn't it? I'm going to get to... Uh, experience of Barnsley Museum. Barnsley from where I guess. Yeah. Well I remember I go back in Barnsley when old Pie and P caravan. They were actually a caravan. And they sold pie and peas. And it was packed 24-7. They made a fortune. In the end, when New Market opened, they got a cafe and moved upstairs. They moved upstairs in New Market. And uh, I went in and had pie and peas. It was the same people. Same. Same. But they put your pie and peas on a on a plate instead of oh look here all new renovations and what we're going on yeah 
and uh, try and get zoom in on that so I can read it. This is what it's about, people. Uh, and this is the monument that is now here in front of us, I believe. And as you can see, I've at road, all them shops. I'm going to go down the back street over there now. It was to come up and down it regular. Uh, I can see if I can still get on it. It used to take you down to the back way, supermarket, well, if I remember right. But it is a long time, and the, sh the shop next to the street, I'm going to nip down. In fact, I think it were this here, not front. All this used to be a jeweller's. Yeah, uh, dresses and that. And, uh, yeah, Graham's Orchard. No, this is the way. Oh, let me just get that. There you go. There's that one you meant. Go around, there's the other one. There's the town hall. There's up back at town hall. And turn left. And it'll take you to magistrates and that. We're going down here. Yeah, this is exactly the same. Apart from obvious things like roadways better. There's well art and yellow lines all over the place. But basically, this is the same. These car parks here are what we used to uh, park on. Three hours maximum stay. Must display tickets. It's tickets for everything, isn't it, these days? And up that way, what? Supermarket. Down this way, it's back towards the town centre. And over here, I don't know what this place is. It's all new. But, these are the same old. Same old streets. We just front for a few subscribers. Let's have a look. Yeah, for piercings and stuff. Yeah. Can I just punt? Does anybody here watch YouTube? Check out Arthur Taylor on YouTube. The mask, and I've got a Nike hat on on most of them. Subscribe. I do prison and police corruption. I go back to this town forever. My family run Bennett's Motorbike Shop on Sheffield Road. But now I do police and prison corruption. So. If you check it out, and please subscribe, thank you very much. Thank you. Can I film front of your shop? Yeah. And I'll, because it's going on YouTube, and it'll be a pump for your shop, mate. Yes? yes. Thank you. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is tattoo shop, piercings. I've just punted them for, uh, they've been in, well, they've been in Barnsley. I don't know how long. But... 
back onto what I'm doing, onto the fuel subs, and uh, there we go, back into the centre of the town. Uh, I forgot names of these roads. Oh, toilet's still here, look. Wow. Back up that way, it's to my mate's shop and bypass the just to the other end of town, going that way. Uh, I want to stick to town centre at the minute. And uh, as you can see, these the old toilets no longer in use. And uh, I'm not going to film anybody in. I'm looking for uh, Wow. Yeah, these old streets are the same. Alright, boys. What have they done with old oh, market? Which market? <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm not filming you, but I am filming. I am filming. I will film you and punt your stall if you want, but I'm from town now. I'm just coming here now because I do uh, videos on police.